Hey everybody, hope you guys are all doing amazing today. We are live right now with Scott Ward, the hypnotist. Uh, you just had a show last night, tell us how it went. Oh, it was, it was a really fun show. It was uh, Thunderchild First Nation and yeah. they rented out the Gold Eagle Casino, mm -hmm. North Battleford, yeah. and oh, it was off the hook. Yeah, so if you ever seen this guy on, on stage, he's amazing. He makes me laugh every time I see him on stage. Uh, tell us how you got into being a hypnotist. Well, when I'm in Cree country, they call me the hypnochisk. <laughs> 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 That's an inside story yeah. right there. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, it was about 2004. Yeah. There's a hypnosis school in Red Deer called the Excel Center for Hypnotherapy. Yeah. And I thought, hey, there's a hypnosis school in Red Deer, and I'm living here. Yeah. So I was working for the government at the time as a career and employment counselor. Yeah. And they had a learning account, mm. and they said you can take any course that you want. Hmm. So the budget was like 400 bucks. And that was going to pay for half of my hypnosis training. Mm -hmm. So they funded it. I had to pay half. They paid half. Got uh, a crash course in hypnosis. Yeah. And I read every single book that I could on hypnotherapy and got so interested in it that yeah. people said, you know, should take this to the stage. Yeah. And I was like, well, I, I am a drama teacher by trade. <laughs> I, I'm used to putting on shows. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I made rap music as a kid. I was a DJ. Mm. So one thing leads to another in life mm. and went to a hypnotist show when I was in, in college yeah. or university yeah. and uh, had so much fun getting hypnotized that yeah. I thought, I want to try this hypnosis yeah. stuff. And, yeah, yeah. and soon after, shows started taking off that I had yeah. to quit my day job, take the show on the road, do it full time. Oh. And that was the hardest thing I had to do is quitting that day job, yeah. take the show on the road. Yeah, I think I think uh, for myself too, I was in the same boat. I, yeah. I had odd jobs and I, I, I had multiple opportunities to go all into full time jobs, but I had to stop myself and that was yeah. very challenging, especially uh, did you have kids at the th kids at the time? Yes, you my, had kids. Hey, my yeah. second child was born and wifey said, you're going to quit your job with benefits yeah. to do yeah. hypnosis? Are you joining the circus? <laughs> like, yeah. what? you know? Yeah. So, it, but it's opened up so many doors and opportunities for me that, you know, the sky is endless mm. with hip, you know, hypnosis. You yeah. know, I can do it anywhere. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hopefully not on me right now. So, because we might be running for like two hours here. <laughs> uh, so, you also wrote a book. Tell yes. us about your book. Well, I co wrote it. Uh, my brother Jeff Ward and I. Uh, Wardboys.com is our website, but you can uh, we we actually have a book that we co-wrote called Energize Your Entrepreneurial Spirit, which is Eyes for short. Energize your entrepreneurial spirit. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's 52 essays that we wrote uh, that will get you started on your path to mm -hmm. success. And uh, so there's he wrote half, I wrote half. We also had a co-writer who helped us wordsmith it really nice mm -hmm. because I'm a man of short words. <laughs> short words. <laughs> And uh, and that is Andrea Letting, and she's actually based out of Saskatoon. Nice, very yeah. cool, very yeah. cool. Well, uh, back in 2011, I met Scott at a conference. He was uh, hustling on the side and had a show, and uh, we got a book off him. So I still have that book. Yeah, this is the first edition. Oh, actually. first edition. You can tell by the tell a sign sign right to me. So there you go. Yeah, awesome. When's your book coming out? Um, it's coming. <laughs> it's a work in progress. So uh, yes. stay tuned for that. Uh, so forward. Scott, back to the entrepreneur in you. Yes. What does it take to become an entrepreneur from your side? Hustle, hustle, yeah. hustle. Yes, uh, yes. As you know, you got to keep on your game. You got to mm -hmm. keep yourself educated. Uh, you know, marketing is the biggest thing that we all have to learn. Yeah. And you know, it's nice to see you using the technology of today. Mm -hmm. Back in the day, I was just mentioning. Uh, yeah. Uh, Chris Shepard, I wanted my own pirate radio station, <laughs> but now we have YouTube and things like that. Yeah, so this yeah, is yeah. Great. absolutely. So take us through some of the, the uh, maybe a, a, an obstacle story that you, you maybe just want, you almost quit. You know, because we all go through that as entrepreneurs where you're like, man, I, yeah. I'm so close to quitting, but I'm going to keep going. Or, you know, some of them actually quit. Take us through a story like that. Well, I think every day yeah. you get something in the back of your mind going, Okay, just take a day job, you yeah, know, like, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. it's sometimes you're having to do self-promotion mm -hmm. and, and if like, I'm a pretty humble guy, even though I'm on stage, yep. like I like being low key yep. 
And uh, one of the large, you know, the biggest things that had to do is just get over that and yeah. just realize, you know, you are your business. Yeah, yeah. And you know, cash flow is the number one reason why people fail in business. Mm -hmm. And for me, uh, just staying on top of everything, you know, your finances, yeah. thinking ahead for the future. Okay, I, I'm booked all over Christmas for my shows. Yeah. But what's happening in January? Right. Right. right? right. January is a dead time. Yeah. 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 So, but there should be no dead times in your business. Mm -hmm. January is a time that I redo my website. Yeah. My yeah, content yeah. is getting updated. Yeah. So. I'd say almost on a daily basis, there's something there's in the back of my mind going, <laughs> there's got to be an easier way. But yeah, the thing yeah. is, I love hypnosis. I love traveling to the communities and I love working with the youth that yeah. that's my motivation right, right, right. for keeping it going. Tell, take a, tell us a success story through, through your hypnotherapy, your hypnotism and so on. Oh, I've helped so many people quit smoking, lose weight, break bad habits mm. that uh, there's, there's endless. Uh, wow. I was at the Dreamcatchers Youth Conference. Have you yeah. ever been there? Many years ago, yes, yeah. yeah, yeah. As a youth, as a youth, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I did a show there for about eight years in a row, and it was my first conference that I performed at using hypnosis. Mm -hmm. There was a bunch of youth there from the Northwest Territories, and they said, "Can you help us quit smoking?" We heard that you're a hypnotist, right? And I was doing the comedy show there, and, yeah. and I said, "Okay, you know what? Anybody that wants to quit smoking at the end of the show, we'll have you sit in the audience, and we'll." We'll do some hypnotherapy with you. Mm -hmm. So, you know, at the at the time, I was wondering, still wondering, does hmm, yeah. hypnotherapy really work yeah, for quitting yeah, yeah, smoking? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I haven't had any success stories at that point because yeah. I was just getting going into the stage hypnosis. Yeah. Even though I was certified in hypnotherapy, mm. but um, so I said, okay. So we had a I don't know, it was like ten youth from Yellowknife, <laughs> uh, I think from Delo community. Yeah, yeah, and. Uh, there was one youth there that came the next year and said, yeah, it I, worked, I, I, quit, eh? I quit smoking. Wow, that's amazing. And I was like, okay, it does work. Wow, <laughs> that's awesome. But wow. then I start getting trickling of information coming in, you know, I quit smoking with your CD. I was like, oh, wow, this is awesome. That's so, crazy. Wow. Some people have, uh, you know, they've lost weight because they're trying to slim down to get into a dress for right. when they get married or right. whatever, right? So right, right. People call me up and yeah. they're like, I just want to say thank you. I'm like, Wow, that's that's awesome. That's the biggest uh, thank you can get, I think. When yeah, you're someone like that. That's exactly. Amazing. That's amazing. So, what drives you? What drives you, Scott? The fear of failure. Mm. <laughs> Don't want to fail, man. Yeah. Like, you know, the biggest motivation is my boys. I have yeah. two boys, eleven and fourteen, mm -hmm. and the number one reason why I do what I'm doing is because I want them to have an awesome life. Yeah. You know, my dream as a kid was I want to go to Hawaii one yeah. day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've since been to Hawaii twice. Wow. So it's opened up so many opportunities. Like I work, that's so I can go travel international. Right, right. So yeah. I you know I've done a show in Vietnam, I've traveled to Cambodia, Laos, Thailand, mm. Malaysia, Barbados, Venezuela, Guyana. That's amazing. So I, wow. And last year I went to Europe for the first time. Wow. Wow. I had no interest going to Europe, yep. but Went to Switzerland and yeah. England. I even did hoop dancing in England at wow. a castle. <laughs> that's amazing, man. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. So can you do you have anything you can demonstrate to anyone right now? Like do you have anything that we well, can play around with? Funny you should ask, Kendall. Oh, oh my goodness. I brought some uh, Oh you got some, some dice, dice here. Okay. Okay, so you got some dice. All right. It I'm looks not, legit. Okay. okay. I don't see anything that's just poked around with it. Okay. Okay, what you can do right here is you could just roll the dice. Okay. Okay, so for example, there's a two there. Okay. I want you to just roll the dice. I'm going to turn around. I'm going to look at your beautiful Nietzsche gear All sign right. here. All right. And you're going to roll the dice. All, All right. right. I have my blinders on. So I'll show the screen. Okay, I'll show yep. people on the screen. And then uh, I'm assuming you're going to guess what it is. Yeah. All right, here we go. Okay, take it away. All right. I'm not looking. Okay, I'm getting vibrations here, Kendall. I'm guessing it's not a very high number. It's uh, I'm feeling it. I'm thinking you're moving it. You're changing it to different numbers. No, nope, uh, hold nope, on here. No, nope, no. Nope. I'm thinking six. I don't know. Let's try that oh again. my goodness! Was it? Did you see that? Was you it? Yes, six? six. That's a six. This time. 
All keep right. It in your hand. All right. Sounds good. Keep your hand good. flat. All right. Sounds Just good. like this. Okay. Keep it flat. Okay. Keep it on one number. Don't even look right, at it. I'm not even gonna look Don't at it. Don't even look at it. I'm not even gonna look at it. Okay. I'm you guys are watching this. Okay. The feelings of things. All right. Just keep here we your go. Hand still. Okay. Keep it on one number. You got that number? I got number? one Don't, number. Yeah. Don't even look at I'm it. I'm not even looking at it. <laughs> okay. I'm guessing here. It's a two. Oh my goodness. <laughs> look at that. It is a two. What do you know? It's a two. That's crazy. Crazy, crazy. Yeah. So. Uh, Crazy, Every, crazy. We all have to tap wow. into our, that's our, amazing. our inner child. We gotta yeah. just kinda just feel it and that's amazing. Yeah. That's awesome. Wow. Well, so that's just one thing that this guy, this guy can do. I can't imagine what else you uh, you have in the back of oh. your your hands there. Oh, oh geez. Uh, you got any more things? Oh man. Okay. We're in for a treat here. Oh boy. Um I did uh, have one thing. It's in my jacket. Okay. We're gonna pop it out here. Let's talk about your brother too. Your brother's an entrepreneur, right? Yeah. So what does he do? Well, my brother Jeff Ward, he is a uh, web app developer. Yeah. So he's been on the web ever since he was a young young guy. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm going to put my jacket down. Yeah. Let's talk about Jeff for a bit. Sure. Um, he has a company called Anemi Key, Inc. Awesome. And that's his name, Anemi Key, Kiwi Zen. And mm -hmm. our family were Ojibwe. Uh, our family, we're, we're from Sandy Bay Ojibwe Nation, but I grew up in Selkirk, Manitoba, just mm -hmm. north of Winnipeg. And uh, actually on the east side, which is a community of maybe 700 people. Okay. So I grew up in a small town right up until the age of uh, 17. Nice. And uh, he got named from Dan, Danny um, Thomas, mm -hmm. and he got named his name uh, in a sweat, and Thunderbird Boy. And so... He basically took his name and he made a company mm -hmm. and he's doing the stuff that he loves to do and it's yeah. web apps and things like that. Yeah. He's getting the virtual reality. That's and, cool. Wow. That's and amazing. he has a staff of like five full-time staff. Are they all in the same place or they're across country? Um, he has one VA in uh, Mohawk country. Yeah. Uh, he has, he's brought in some people from Alberta nice. and... There's like, I think, five in the office. Sweet. Wow. Yeah. So they, they do work from home and they also yeah. work in the office. Right, right. Head office being Songhees First Nation. Okay. Coast, okay. Coast Salish Territory. Nice. Very yeah. awesome. Wow. So dynamic duo of brothers. That's, uh, it's very unheard of to have family members both being entrepreneurs. I, at least from my, what I've been researching from everyone. You don't else. have your brothers and sisters that are well, Unfortunately, they're not. No, they work for me, but yeah. uh, unfortunately, they haven't started their own business. Don't they have hypnotized your, your younger sister? You, that is correct. He has hypnotized my, my, uh, my mid, the middle child, Farah. Farah, oh. she was uh, dancing like I've never seen her dance before, apparently. But, <laughs> <laughs> but that's the kind of thing this guy can do. He can do some really cool things, and uh, if you get a chance to book him, He's taking bookings, bookings across the country, uh, obviously around the world as well, and uh, you won't be disappointed. I, I, I watched him several times live, and uh, he keeps getting better and better. So, uh, Scott, any last words of encouragement to anyone out there who might be, who might be on the fence of either going after what really makes them happy? Okay, um, we all have struggles in life. It's a natural thing. I still have struggles in life, and it's basically getting the courage. Mm. You just have to take that leap and sometimes you have to take that leap because of circumstances, personal circumstances or things going on in your life that you just want to change and you'll never get paid what you're worth unless you're working for yourself. Right, right. I've worked so many jobs. I was an RCMP, I was a yeah. DJ, I was, oh my goodness, teacher, yeah. rapper, like seriously, <laughs> yeah. I've wow. done it all. That's amazing. Holy so man. I can do all those jobs in one yeah. and do the, 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 the things that I like to do mm -hmm. and you just have to find the passion and just start giving her and yeah. pretend it's your last day living on earth and yeah. just do it mm -hmm. because if you don't do it, you'll be kicking yourself on your deathbed going, yeah. hmm, I should have uh, done this, I should have done yeah. that. Yeah, but, right, uh, you right. Know. absolutely. So, Scott, where can we find you? If someone might be watching yeah. here and wants to get hold of you or reach out, maybe even yeah. buy some products, where can we find you? Um, well, I'm on iTunes, nice. so uh, nice. I have 15 different hypnotherapy sessions. Nice. Uh, so it's the quit smoking, the lose weight, break bad habits. Is it Scott Ward the hypnotist, or is it? Uh, you just type in hypnotist Scott Ward. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Scott Ward the hypnotist. Okay. Um, 
I show up there. You can do an instant download. Nice. But here's a little freebie for you guys oh. out there. Okay. Because uh, if you add me on Facebook and you mention Nietzsche Gear, there you go. Add me on Facebook. Yeah. And what I'll do is any title that you want, it's a twenty dollar value. Nice. You guys get it for free. Wow. You hear that? Twenty dollar value for free. I think yes. uh, that's pretty awesome. Mention Nietzsche Gear. Reach add me on Scott Facebook. Work. Add me on Facebook. At work, you get a yeah. free gift. It's and it's awesome. Scott Eagle Dog Ward. Scott Eagle Dog Ward. Yes. Dot com. Uh, no, dot well, ScottWard.net is my website. Scott but Word. if you want to find me on Facebook, just uh, Scott oh, okay. Eagle Dog Ward. Perfect. Yes. Sounds good. Well, Scott, I know you're a very busy guy. You're heading out uh, down south here. Yes. Uh, this this weekend, I believe, and yeah. uh, you have a show again. You're nonstop, nonstop, and that's what go, why go, this go. guy is successful because he's a grinder. <laughs> and he's always looking to the future. So thank you so much, Scott, for coming. Oh, I really appreciate right it. Awesome. I, I brought you some uh, Timbits. Oh, did you? Okay. Make sure you have a Timbit. We're going to munch out. <laughs> Check out his book, too. Amazing book, 52 Secrets to Energize Your Entrepreneurial Spirit. Amazing book. We'll talk to you guys all soon. Take care.